Hello, everyone. Hello. OK, I think we can start. OK, we can start now. Hello, my name is Maria Clement. I'm from Ateval, the Textile Association of the Valencian region. And uh, we are the project coordinators of the In Transit project. I'm going to introduce you a little bit the project and then uh, Silvia from CTA will talk about the call with more details. So let's start, please. An in transit project. Please mute your phones, your mics. Thank you. The in transit project aims to strengthen the resilience of the textile, aerospace, advanced manufacturing, and Great. construction SMEs towards uh, greener and more digital sectors. <laughs> and with a mixed support uh, mechanisms that includes individual assessment, a lump sum and coaching to ensure their consolidation and sustainability. On the next slide, we can see the main concept is we have developed in transit project in different steps. The first one will be the industry assessment where we have developed a diagnostic tool all the participant uh, companies can check their position regarding the circularity and their digitalization level. And this will be the very first step to start this pathway. Then uh, we will also have open innovation spaces to promote the cross-sectoral innovation and trying to promote new business models. The third step is the customized advisory service and financial support to third parties that is related to the four different goals we are going to launch during the in-transit project. And then we will include also a dedicated coaching to all the participants because of the objective is to have companies so more resilient to be prepared and to face external shocks that can be more competitive. Um, here uh, we have developed the innovations space for the participants following these steps, starting with incubate and following by innovate. The third step will be the develop and to conclude uh, we'll find the scale up. Next slide, uh, with more detail, we can see that Incubate is about joint services for incubating cross-sectoral innovation and focuses on supporting SMEs and identifying their market opportunities, their needs and their pain points and to connect them to different sectors. Then the Innovate focuses on customized advisory services, including assisted self-assessment and circular and digital diagnostic. The first call was launched from May to July of this last year, 2023. Develop is focused on financial support for third parties. It will have two open calls and the very first one, you know, Sylvia will explain it better later. And the last support mechanism is the scale up and it aims to bring solutions on the market and offers additional customized services for the new business models. And it is focused on offering these customized services to the beneficiaries of the developed tool. On the next slide, the project offers, we can see the project offers the SMEs numerous services and activities such 
as learning expeditions, uh, workshops, matchmaking and networking events, travel vouchers. At this moment, we have already organized four workshops, one matchmaking event and different learning expeditions. In addition, the project team offers personalized advisory services, including assisted self-assessment and the circular and digital diagnostics, coaching and training at a strategic level, and all with programs composed of workshops and individual partner consultancy. We also provide support to development projects, including 50 hours of coaching, services for the development of innovative and sustainable business models. And the next slide, uh, the next month, we can see the next month making event um, info day of the in transit project will take place in grass in May 2024. Uh, there are also several learning expeditions planned for the next year. The first one took place in Ljubljana last week, and the next one it's organized by CTA in Sevilla and Cadiz and will be on 22nd and 23rd of February. And then we will have another learning expeditions on November in Athens, Greece, and another one in Barcelona this year. The next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, currently, we have already closed the first Inuit call. We had 868 proposals and 50 have been accepted. And the next Inuit call will be open in April 2024, as you can see. A uh, short and the develop call, it's already open now. And then uh, in April, we will open the second Innovate call. And following this one, uh, we will open the second develop call in November 2024. On the next slides, you can see the Innovate calls are focused on offering individualized services to the SMEs as 50 projects have been already accepted in the first call, uh, around 50 more projects will be accepted in the second one. This support mechanism provides companies with 40 hours of coaching and has uh, around a duration around two months. It is important that the selected company, companies participate in this coaching because it can have benefits for the next develop call. The develop call is open to both individual projects and consortia, and it will award 60 projects. It will offer 50 hours of coaching over a period of four months. And finally, incubate activities can benefit a total of 200 companies and will have a total funding of 75,000 euros. And the duration of these activities will be around one or two days. And now, Silvia, the floor is yours. You can explain a little bit the, with more detail the developed call. Thank you very much, Maria. Yeah. Uh, I'm going. To, I'm going to give uh, some snapshot regarding uh, what the, the call on the main important issues. Okay, as you have seen, uh, we are going to have uh, one one uh, in the develop uh, in the develop calls. We are going to have uh, three million, little more than three million euros for funding. SMEs. We will distribute the budget between two calls. The one that is open right now. That open that will close uh, on 13, 13 of March and uh, and the second one that will be open uh, at the end of the year. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's have remind you that uh, 49k euros uh, euros will be will be will be the funding for each AC. Okay. Uh, now. The, the call is open. You can go directly to our website to the first open call develop and you will find there all the information. Uh, this is more or less uh, a summarized information of the proposal. Uh, only SMEs are able to apply. SME from the different sector, aerospace, production, uh, uh, additive, uh, sorry, 
aerospace production, construction, and also uh, textile. Uh, this this SME from Europe can apply individually or in consortium, but each SME can only submit one proposal. Okay, uh, you can see there the the budget per SME and per and per project. A maximum of 98k are uh, will be funded per proposal. Okay, and the model uh, the 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 mortality will be a lump sum. Okay. Uh, the budget uh, it is indicative, but is uh, we we will have we will expect to have mostly mostly thirty SMEs to be funded in this call, and uh, the duration of the projects that we are going to have is four months. Okay, uh, the topics who, what 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 we are going to finance we are going to finance development in innovations technical demonstration. In order to improve the, the integration of new processes, new business model, to generate new value chains in the four sectors: textile, aerospace, construction, and span and advanced manufacturing. Okay. And of course, a very important date. Uh, 13th of March, you will be able the at three at 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 five uh, Central European time could be the deadline. Okay. You have to submit all the information through the our portal. What are the eligibility conditions? You have to be an SME. Please check the European Commission definition. You have to hear the link and also in the in the call. Uh, the SME must be established or have a, a, a branch offer in the European of the 27. Uh, application must be written in English. The SMEs. Uh, I, I, I told you, but I repeat because it's important. Uh, the, the SMEs that are applying that are applying in the consortium, okay, uh, should do only one proposal. Okay, you can see in the in the in the tool that you have a space for preparing all the information of the two SMEs and to and to and to send the proposal as a whole. Okay. Uh, the maximum accumulated in transit funding that you will be able to have is 50k, but uh, but uh, taking into account that you also have op the opportunity to participate in, in our learning expeditions, and you will you can also be funded in this modality. Uh, as I have said, only one proposal, only one SME can submit one proposal, and of course the application should be made by our web our web system, and you, you I, I strongly recommend to do it not very close to the to the to the close time because it used to be quite collapsed. So please do it well with time. Okay. Uh, what are the legible costs that you will be able to 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 fund? Okay. Uh, only costs generated during the project, of course. Uh, the 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 type of 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 course that you have is the, the the common one that the European Commission used to fund direct costs for the staff implementing the action other direct costs direct costs related with travel with equipment you have to take into account the equipment are only financed um, by depreciation not the total amount of the of the purchase of course consumables and we have a, a fixed 25% of, of, of indirect costs that are also legible. Subcontracting. Subcontracting is, is allowed in this project of mainly to research center, university, and living labs, and, and large company that could provide you good uh, good uh, skill for, for performing the, 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 the project, but it's limited, okay? Uh, if subcontracting is over 40%, you have to justify the in deeply the what is the what is the the reason um, and you, and it should be very well justified. Okay, or is 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 you can do it. Okay. Uh, how are we going to evaluate the proposals? Okay, now to submit the proposal, and you need to know. What are going to be our criteria? Uh, we are going to evaluate four different criteria. The three first one are the general one that we have it. 
and that we have it in, in the European Commission activities, the excellent, the quality of the implementation and the potential impact. But we also are going to evaluate one innovate participation. That is, if you were participating in the participating in innovate uh, in voucher and you have parties for successfully this voucher, you will have extra point in the final ranking in order to 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 have a good position of your proposal. Uh, the excellent quality has 30 percent and potential impact is the 40 percent of the final of the final uh, remark. OK, uh, what have you to do for be successful? Uh, you have to 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 be at a threshold. OK, for individual for individual uh, topics for excellent quality and potential impact, you have to be over the 70 percent. OK, that means that you have to have 18 point for 30 in in the in the in the excellent 30 for um, um, of uh, 30 in in quality of implementation and 24 minimum in the potential impact this is a this is a, a minimum and you also have to be over 70 percent in the overall treasure of the proposal okay professor the proposal that would be uh, below 70 percent will not be funded and of course, uh, you will after that in the evaluation you will receive the extra point if you have if you have been over this two threshold. Okay. Uh, in this slide, we would like to share with you how would be the evaluation processes and what are the times. Okay, in order to expect you will be able to know when we will publish our results. Uh, uh, we will we are. Currently, uh, we are the the proposal is open. When the when the later in the later uh, at, at the middle of March, as soon as we will finalize the the the, the call, we will start with the eligibility check that will be done also in March. Le later, we are going to have external evaluation. We will have external evaluation for doing the proposal, and we will have a preliminary ranking list only. With the with the with the proposal that has passed the ranking, okay. Uh, if any of your proposal has any kind of ethics uh, ethics issues, okay, you will have to complete the um, a questionnaire. Uh, that we will have also an ethic committee that could evaluate if the proposal is able to be financed or not regarding ethic issues. If you pass, you will go to the evaluation committee review with the final ranking of proposal and we will approve that. This could be by the end of March, mid of April. Okay. Your audio is still as you want to Sorry. Can you just off your microphone, please? And the final ranking will be published in April. Okay. This is uh, the procedure of the evaluation um, and I hope that all your proposal will be very successful. Okay. Uh, this bonus is not only funding. This bonus has an additional coaching, a specific coaching of 50, uh, 50 hours to all of the SME that would be beneficiaries. Okay. So meantime, meanwhile, you are doing the, you are developing your project. You will be, you will be able to request this kind of, of coaching. And once you have performed the project, we have signed the contract and so on. What we do? What we do for monitoring, we uh, and reporting. Uh, the beneficiary, you, you, the beneficiary that has been beneficiary for the for the innovate voucher has now uh, um, a partner of the consortium that is their monitoring partner. Okay, so that could be the same for the long life of the project in any kind of voucher that you receive. So you will maintain the contact. For new beneficiaries that would not that could not have uh, passed for the innovate voucher, we will assign one as soon as they will sign the contract. Okay? This panel would be in charge of monitoring your project your project and they will ask you about the process. They will and 
and the and the and the different deliverables or the report that we will ask you okay to complete. At the end of the of the project, you will have one month to prepare a technical evaluate technical document that we will evaluate. Okay, you will uh, as soon as you will you will be financing, you will have all the template available. It could be a very easy a very easy format for for the left decision. Okay, um, the payments the payments. Uh, it's also important. All payments will be in euro, in, in, in euros. Uh, uh, you cannot you cannot include anything that could be performed after. The, you only can incur in, in expenses before the the signature of the contract. Okay. Uh, the beneficiary that can apply in the consortium must set up agreement regulating the cooperation. We need a contract for this. Uh, it's like a consortium agreement between the two partners, okay? And um, and the submission of the of an application that that could do is not. We do not have any 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 obligation for funding, okay? So you have to sign the contract, and as soon as you you have the contract, we will start the work, okay? And this is the general information regarding. The 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 anti fraud uh, European issue is only for a reminder for you. It's not important to do that. And one of the last slides is the timeline. In order you will have in one slide all the information. Uh, if you you have to prepare your proposal um, before before the the middle of March. If you are selected, you will not, you will be notified in April, and the contract will be. During May, okay, because the start the static date of the project should be beginning of June, okay. So that is mandatory. We have to have all the contracts signed by the end of May. So if you are selected in this call, you you have to take this into account. And how to apply? Uh, this is only a snapshot to re to remind you how to do it. You have to go to the link to the call. It's only one step submission. In the platform, you have to send two different kind of information, administrative form that are very are directly uh, filling out in the in the in the tool, and you have to provide two annexes: the technical proposal, it's only ten pages, and the budget that is an Excel file. Okay, we will need all of this information. Uh, you we will the financial solvency of the SME will be checked before the contract signature okay and and you have you, you are able to to download all the information the and the application form from the website and if you have any question we have you can contact of you can contact of course with the sm with the with the partner that could be most closely to you and also with the with the with the email that is develop.intransitproject.eu we will be behind there and we will answer you of all your questions. And this is the end. Uh, I have to tell you that we are preparing a, a frequent question and answer document that could be published in the in the website soon. OK, because we are picking up some questions received from from the different SMEs that are applicants and you will have it available in one, two weeks. OK, and now is your turn. I don't know if there is any question from the from the audience. Uh, yes, oh. Silvia, there are some questions in the written in the chat. So okay. I cannot see. So go go ahead <laughs> yes. with them. I'm going to read them to you. The very first one will be air conditioning systems for large buildings could be considered construction. Sorry, can you repeat, please? Air conditioning systems for large buildings could be considered construction. It depends on the on the topic. Uh, air yes. conditioning. It depends of the of the objective of the project. You have to think that you need to to generate proposal that generate synergy between the sectors. I don't know exactly how they what they wanted to 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 do with this system. But maybe any kind of I don't know production of this I don't know exactly what what could be, but we have to 
maybe we need to know more in depth uh, what is the topic of the proposal exactly in order to know if it fits or not with the framework of the project. Yes, okay. The next question will be if the 40 percentage of sub ceiling for subconstructing must be applied to the total project budget or to each beneficiary budget. To the total project budget. Exactly. So if you that have a 10% clear. and a 30, no, don't worry. Okay. And then the another question is, I'm going to answer this one. The list of SMEs funded in the innovation call, it's available. It's not published uh, on social media or, or in our website. If you are in the community platform, you can see all the, the other participants, but it's not available. Um, then another question. Uh, are company conf co-founders that are currently not considered as staff in the company eligible for salary staff cost under this project? Sorry, can you repeat, please? People yes. from other? Are company co-founders that are currently not considered as staff in the company eligible for salary under this project? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that this is related. Uh, this project could be funded by, by Lamsum, okay? You don't have to justify uh, the person cost as you used to do in European project that you have to put person, the cost for the person and so on. Uh, I think that we shouldn't have any problem uh, if you justify some hours from, from the people because we are not going to ask you for any document, but you have to follow up to follow the rulers of the European Commission. I think that, that currently what they have is they have a, a maximum of cost per, per uh, CEOs or per people from that are the owners of the companies. I think it's, that is in the regulation of the European Commission's funds. Um, and you can check it carefully. I think that it could have one presentation. Maybe if you do that, uh, if you send that is this question by email, we will include it in an official answer in the in the in the frequent question and answer, okay? In order to give you the link to the to the inform, to the document of the European Commission, okay? But it's, in general, it's, uh, included, Sylvia. So it's once no, yes, okay. it's included. So, so you will I find the the answer in the frequent uh, questions. I, I don't remind that this was included or not. That's why I, I, I told you. <laughs> Because because it's a it's an issue it's an issue that is common for the for the whole European project. For example, they have some project where the owner is not the staff of the of the company, but he receives some funds and they I think that they are pay I don't know exactly forty five euros per hour or something like that. They have a they have a fee a, a fee fixed by the European Commission with this. But in this case. You have to know that we are not going to ask this because it's lump sum, okay? But in general, for the estimation, you can follow this rather. Okay, we can move by a little bit faster because we have many questions and okay. just <laughs> one yeah, minute. I don't know. Okay. Uh, the next question is, who is going to be the coach for this 50-hour coaching? Are these coach selected? It's it will depend of the country and of the project you are going to to submit to the to the platform to this okay. call. Okay, it's not defining yet. It's not defining, Maria. I don't know but if you, but but we is it, in any case, it could be one of the members of the consortium. Okay, the yes, uh, uh, we we will try to be to be to be flexible. And if it's possible to that you will be able to receive your coaching in your in your mother tongue language, we will try to. Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> then uh, someone asked a four month duration for this project sounds short. What is the timeline exactly for execution? Is the there a possibility to present the outcome? Uh, the 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 time for execution is four months since the beginning of June 
is June, July, August, and, uh, and September. September. A September. End of September, the project should be finalized. Uh, we do not have too, mar too much margin on that, uh, mm -hmm. but if there, if there are some small delays, maybe we can assume because, because we have one month of certification, but it should be, it should be treated uh, case by case. But in any case, we should fulfill with this deadline because we need to do the payments on the time that the European Commission requires. And we have to pay uh, after the finalization of the project and we have a deadline for doing so. We cannot be so much delayed. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any possibility to evaluate if the topic is eligible for the call before submission? Mm, uh, many of the of the of the 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 innovate the innovate beneficiaries has has got a service that is uh, that is a service to support them on the definition of the proposal. So you can check with your with your with the partner of the consortium that is supporting you on this on this uh, topic, and of course you can contact us or our all, all of the members of the consortium in order to test if your proposal fits or not with the objectives of in transit uh, developed funds. So you can contact us and and you can and you can and we will try to support you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we have three more questions, OK, and we finished this reunion. The very first one is the budget limits. Is the funding a percentage of the budget? Sorry? The budget limits of the funding. Is the funding a percentage of the of the budget? No, no, Islam Sum. If you put uh, if you give uh, we have this budget for doing the action, you should you should fix the your your action to this budget. Uh, uh, we are not going to finance ninety percent of the budget that you will and that you the, of the you will say. If you say that you are going to Spain to Spain, thirty k, thirty five, for example, k, not forty, mm -hmm. you will receive thirty k. But I we strongly recommend to go to 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 go to have the whole the whole the whole budget available. You should I think that you should design a project that could be festival with 40k. Okay, can two Sorry. SMEs can two okay. SMEs in consortium be from the same sector? I think that uh, let's uh, Maria let's uh, let's me I think that that yes uh, the problem is that we we also evaluating the synergy that are creating between different sectors. So if you are from different sectors, you will receive more, more, more points in your evaluation. So it's exactly. recommendable to generate, to generate, uh, to connect different sectors because that's are the the proposal that have more opportunity to be success. We have to say yes, that that's we, one this of is, the main problems. Yes, you yes, have to. That's uh, one of the main points of the project. So you can do it, but it's better to connect with another sector. Yes, and and taking into account the experience of our previous project that was Galactica, uh, uh, it was a very competitive uh, call, the one for the competition for projects, and uh, and this kind of things, the the extra point for connection sector for 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 connection countries. Uh, what was very important in the final ranking because there was a lot of proposal in a very in the top so it was is what good it's, it's good to have this extra point <laughs> okay this last okay. two please quickly because uh, we What's have the sense? other events yes we have the other yes. started yes. already this is the last so. one okay uh, this is these two are related and they ask if the four months are to do a proof concept the uh, the idea generation the fundamentation the project the advanced the state of the projects i mean trl four three two six okay we did Which part? Apply. We didn't define any kind of TRL because you can define you can define your project as 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 you need it, okay. But of course, we need things that could justify to be more resilient, to be more more strong. So 
we, we do not have rest restriction, but you have to demonstrate that you will be generating a new product, a new service in the, in the beginning or in the end, but for the for the for the SME, okay, for being more competitive. I think that's okay. All. I think that's it. So thank you so much for attending to the info day. If you want to attend a nurturing event, please move to the other link. And um, thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, bye.